I have a house in Virginia, a farm in Virginia, and a house in uh, Maryland. So convince me to keep voting in Virginia instead of going to Maryland, where they just got rid of the death penalty, they just passed marriage equality, and they have a dream act. So now Mark O'Malley told me to keep voting in Virginia, but <laughs> you guys. things so that's why we're fighting come out and fight with us Virginia loves you we <laughs> Virginia's for lovers we love you come with us I won't change my registration thank you <laughs> we need you Dr. Dean a question about the new health care law in Virginia I heard on the radio today that the, the Senate or whoever's been voting currently in the state is trying to turn uh, overturn the ability for any of the health insurance plans that are participating in the exchange for providing any uh, abortion coverage whatsoever. Now, in the national plan, money that's being given to the states to support that doesn't have that exclusion. Can Virginia, or sh I know they shouldn't, but can they actually do that? Legally? Are they running their own exchange? No. 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 My guess is they're SOL. Is they pass the law. I mean, this is something that, unfortunately, it'll be litigated. It'll be litigated. But you know, you know what you can do to change that? You make sure these two folks get elected. Yeah, yeah. You make sure we have a thoughtful uh, governor who actually cares about jobs instead of cares about his own political career. You don't think Cuccinelli is going to stop it. Governor of the do you? He, he, you know, he's, he sees Bob McDap McDonald's shadow. These are the two guys who are going to be president from Virginia, right? Yeah. I don't think so. So, Let him try. So, um, so the point I'm trying to make here is if you want this change, you can do something about it. Uh, it'll be litigated. Who knows if it'll pass or not? I mean, it, you know what, where it'll end up. Um, but the fact that it's a federal exchange is is helpful to your view. But you know, why should we have this fight? Why can't women make their own decisions? Why is it up to men in Richmond to make decisions about what women do? Aren't, don't you think women are sick and tired of being told by people like Ken Cuccinelli what they should do with their lives? I think they are. Oh, yeah. You know what? I don't think that Cuccinelli is going to win because there are a lot of more women voters than there are men voters in Virginia, and they, I think, they have had it with people like Ken Cuccinelli thinking that he has the right to tell people what to do. He does not. He ought to shut up and go back wherever he came from. <laughs> 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 So how do, we, how do we make sure that we align your opponents with Cuccinelli to make sure that the voters who don't like Cuccinelli don't like your opponents either? I think you look at their voting record over the course of their time in office. I think you'll find plenty of, of discrepancies and things that you don't, you know, Democrats don't agree with. Um, we can look at choice, we can look at equality issues, we can look at human services as far as child care subsidies or, or um, health care stuff. It, it, um, there, there's, there's quite a, a, a body of work that you can, you can um, compare. It's not just that. It's not just that. John was talking this morning about transportation. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, he's against the governor's transportation. Is, yeah, is, yeah. My, my opponents voted against transportation three times, and he ran on transportation as the number one issue. <laughs> he's done all kinds of things about signing petitions about tolls, but when he had a chance to do something about it three times, he said no. And that, that, that's the wrong vote. And then we talked about health care a little bit. You know, with, with me, I talked about priorities and, and alliances, allegiance. And, and I talked to a gentleman named Ray, 74 years old. He's, he's suffering right now. He's getting home health care, and his resources are almost gone. This year, David Ramadan voted against the budget because it included Medicaid expansion. And, you know, we have 7,000 people in Virginia right now who are on a waiting list for Medicaid home care. By not giving them the help they need, these people are forced to go to nursing homes. So it's morally, it takes away their independence, which is a terrible thing. But on top of that, on top of that, another terrible thing it does, if you say you're, you're not for big government, it costs taxpayers $43,000 a year extra per person per year. This is just bad government. We need to be there for people like Ray. That's who our alliances and our allegiances need to be to. One more question. Yeah, uh, there are 19 uh, delegate districts in Virginia held by Republicans now that Tim Kaine carried in the November election. Uh, doesn't that reflect a much deeper groundswell uh, in the state uh, with regard to changing attitudes and so forth? And is there a strategy to exploit that in more than just five districts in the state? 
I think what we have to do is get our grassroots activists and our federal voters out and make sure that they understand that they're important and, and that this vote matters to them because it's going to, you know, these kitchen table issues that we, we focus on in the state level are going to make a difference to them. So we have to, all of us have to get out and talk to our neighbors, as, as Governor Dean was saying, talk to our neighbors and friends, make sure that they understand that election day on an off year when it's not the presidential matters so much. We saw in 2008, President Obama did a wonderful job, and then in 2009, nobody showed up. We cannot let that happen again this year. And so it's incumbent on me, but it's also incumbent on you to make sure that we're all doing our part to bring our voters out, and then we can win. There are more, there are more Democrats than there are Republicans in this state. We just have to all commit to getting to the polls. Thank you. All right. Yeah.